Hi everybody I would like to welcome one and all for this mega event Global Educon Clave 2023 being held on the occasion of Teachers Day September 5th 2023 The organizers of this event are International Institute of Organized Research India in association with the Center for Smart Modern Construction Western Sydney University Australia Green Thinkers India the Intelligent Indian the Vehiclet UK the IJRECE TRJ Sustainable Cosmos India and Elsevier Mandalay Netherlands I would like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to act as a keynote speaker in this mega event I would like to introduce myself I am Dr Sridhar Satyanarayana professor and HOD at Capital Computers International Private Limited Bengaluru India I am a PhD in mechanical engineering I once again like to thank the organizer for giving me an opportunity to act as a keynote speaker so in this mega event as you know that the theme of this event is UN sustainable development goals 2030 so therefore i would like to brief about the un and the sdgs so in 2015 the leaders from all the 193 countries of the united nations made the most ambitious plan that has ever been agreed so these are known as the global goals so which is shown in this particular slide so here we have the global goals number 1 no poverty number 2 zero hunger number 3 good health and well being number 4 quality education number 5 gender equality number 6 clean water and sanitation number 7 affordable and clean energy number 8 decent work and economic growth number 9 industry innovation and infrastructure number 10 reduced inequalities number 11 sustainable cities and communities number 12 responsible consumption and production number 13 climate action number 14 life below water number 15 life on land number 16 peace justice and strong institutions number 17 partnerships for the goals so here the 17 sdgs acknowledge that the development must balance social economic and environmental sustainability and that actions in one area will impact the results in others so here in this talk i would like to brief about the position in which our country india stands among the nations of the world and also some possible solutions and how we can support the un's sdgs so here we have the india index so the india index is defined as a comprehensive index that policy makers the business people members of civil society and the general public can all understand and apply the index measures the outcomes of the actions and programs of the indian government by tracking the progress of all the states and union territories on a set of 62 national indicators presenting a comprehensive picture of the country's social economic and environmental situation in the global sustainable development report 2022 released in june earlier this year india's rank has slipped for the third consecutive year from 117 to 2020 to 121 out of 163 countries the sdgs with their 17 goals 169 targets and 306 national indicators may be challenging to comprehend and measure success due to their complexity india is not in a favorable position to meet the sustainable development goals set forth by the united nations and its level of preparedness 
has declined over time in comparison to other nations. The nation still faces significant obstacles in reaching 11 of the 17 SDGs, which has resulted in a drop in its global standing for the SDG preparedness. Some key highlights from the SDG report 2022 are the SDG 8 goal of ensuring decent work has proven more difficult. India is on track to achieve SDG 13 regarding climate action. Around 10 of the 17 goals are at the same level of progress since 2021. These include the SDG number 6 on clean water and sanitation, SDG number 3 on good health and well-being, and SDG number 2 on ending hunger. The State of India's Environment 2022 shows that the country was facing major challenges in this area. India's performance on climate action, so that is SDG number 13, has slipped from 2019-20. This decline in India's overall performance is primarily due to the eight states, namely Bihar, Telangana, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Punjab, and Jharkhand, whose scores have dipped under the SDG number 13 in the last two years. Some possible solutions are the SDGs should be supported by scaling up new partnerships and innovations that arose during the COVID-19 pandemic, notably in scientific cooperation and data. Science, technological advancements, and data systems can help find solutions during the crisis and make significant contributions to tackling today's most pressing solutions. This demand significant and sustained expenditures in statistical capabilities, R&D, education, and skill and development. The SDGs must be achieved primarily through investments in physical infrastructure, such as the renewable energy and digital technology and human resources, including health and education. So what action can we take today? Say for each of the 17 SDGs or goals, there are many positive actions we can take to make a real change. Example, for the SDG number three on health program. So we in our organization, so conducted activity programs like health awareness program. We prepared a questionnaire for each activity, formed a group of students, and send them to nearby rural villages and conduct health awareness programs by visiting their houses and highlighting the issues and collecting the data, the health data, and then given to the respective village panchayats for further action. And we also believe that by teaching students and kids about the global goals, we can show them that a better world is possible. Say for the first timers, so how to go about this? So teaching the goals for the first timers, so you can make some videos, you can design posters, you can design comics, you can design games and so on. And also you can support by introducing younger children to the goals. So how you can do this? So you can make the children to think big. So ask them to think that so like they are president and so that ask them questions about the world they want to live in 2030. So they may discuss among themselves and draw the world they want and discuss how to make it happen. So this is like making a community action plan. Say for example, say you can support the goal number one. So how you can do this or what are the things you can do? So you can find a charity you want to support and any donation or involvement, big or small, will make a difference. You can donate what you don't use to some local charities. You can give your clothes or books 
and furniture a new life by donating. Also, you can support campaigns collecting items for victims of emergencies, donate your clothes, food, etc. to support those in need. As you know that poverty still persists in every country and over 8% of the world population still lives in extreme poverty. Also, you can lend your voice to fight against poverty. So by lending your voice, so you can fight against poverty and show your support. Also, you can spread the word. The more people who know about the global goals, the more we can achieve and the higher the chances of us creating a better world for everyone by 2030. You can help by sharing the website on social and by talking to everyone about the action you are taking or to be taken. And also you can show your support. There are some really exciting projects, organizations and campaigns going on around the world that bring people together to tackle the global goals. They are always grateful for the more support. So why not lend your voice, your skills and your imagination to an initiative that strives with your belief. Thank you.